Hi everybody, it's Miss Ward and Lavender, and I can't believe we're already at chapter four. So today is chapter four, lesson one, predicting sun patterns. Let's get started, I'm glad you're here. Let me start by asking you a question. What new things have we learned about why the sky does not always look the same? What are some of the new things we've learned? We can look at our chart too and see if that can help us remember. I heard some people out there say that the last thing that we learned was that the earth spins. Who said that out there? We've been working to help Sai figure out why it changed from daytime to nighttime when he was talking to his grandma on the phone. So if you remember the last time we were together, we wrote Sai a letter about the earth spinning. And Sai actually wrote back to us, and my daughter Rosemary is going to read the letter back from Sai. Two student sky scientists from Sai. Subject, questions about the sky. Dear sky scientists, thank you for helping me figure out why it changed from daytime to nighttime while I talked to my grandma. I understand that it changed from daytime to nighttime because Earth is spinning. I'm going to call my grandma again at the same time tomorrow. Can you help me figure out what I will see in the sky when I talk to her on the phone tomorrow? Thank you. Sigh. Thanks, Rosie. Sigh gave us our chapter four question. It's right here on the wall. What will Sigh see in the sky when he calls his grandma tomorrow? Let's figure that out. In order to start answering our chapter four question, we need to answer this smaller investigation question. What will we see in the sky at the same times on a different day? And in order to do that, we need to look at our sky mural again. Let's look again at our sky mural. And I want us to remember that we have our three observations recorded on here for morning, afternoon, and evening. And all three of these observations were made on the same day, right? So I'm going to make another three sets of observations, and hopefully you guys will get a chance to make some observations too. Um, but before we make those observations, I want us to predict where will we see the sun at the same time in the morning and the afternoon and the evening, but on a different day, right? Where were we going to see the sun? the same time, different day. Let's start with the morning. Rosie, Lavender, can you guys help me? Of course. So Lavender and Rosie are gonna make a prediction about where they might see the sun the same time in the morning, but on a different day. Let's look at the sky mural again, and you guys can make your predictions too. Okay, Rosie, do you want to start by making a prediction, or should Lavender start? Lavender should start. Okay, so Lavender and I talked about this before, so she made her little prediction um, in purple, right? And Lavender thought that the sun in the morning would still be low in the sky, um, so she put her sun right there because she thought that because it was the same time, it would still be low in the sky. That's Lavender's prediction. Rosie, what did you end up predicting? Um, well, I have my little prediction circle in red right there. Um, and I would predict that it's going to be around the same place we saw it last time because it's the same time of the day. So why wouldn't it be in the same place? Okay, so why did you say it was? Because it's the same time of the day, and so I think that it's in the same place at the same time every day. Nice. What are you guys' predictions? To see if our predictions are right, we need to collect more data so we can observe the sky again at the same time as we did before. 
Thanks, Penny. So we're going to go outside and observe the sky at about the same time as I did the last time I observed the morning sky. So we're going to go outside and record our observations again. Rosie's going to take my picture for me. So here I am in the backyard again, pointing at the sky. So we need to decide first if my arm is pointing very low, low, medium, high, high, or very high. So let me zoom in on myself a little bit here. What do you guys think? So Lavender had a look and you want to know what Lavender thought? What'd she think? She thought it was low. Did you guys think it was low? So next, I drew what I observed about that part of the horizon. So after I circled low, I drew what I observed about that part of the horizon. So see the chicken coop in the tree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I made that dotted line around the horizon to show the horizon. And then I drew in where I thought the sun was. Okay. And then I also needed to record the time. And it was the same time as last time, which was 8.30 a.m. So I also recorded the time. So now that we have all that data collected, we can put the actual time on our sky chart and compare it to our predictions. You ready? Yeah. Okay, Rosie, here's our paper sun. Let's go ahead and put it on the mural. Can we go back and look at the drawing first to make sure we have it in the right place? Oh, sure. That's a great idea. Let's go back. There's where it is on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look. Oh, okay. Right, right here. Yeah. And then did we have it? I don't remember. Did we have it very high, high, medium, high, low, or very low? I think we had it low. Low. Okay. So go ahead and put that where it belongs. What? It goes right on top of the other observation. So it's in the same spot. Mm hmm. Okay. So let's take our predictions off. Ooh, your prediction was really close. Okay. All right. Nice job. All right, guys. What do we notice about where we posted the sun this time? All right, Rosie, we're done with the morning. Let's move on to the afternoon. All right. Okay. So if we observe the sky this afternoon again, where do you predict the sun will be? So if I go back outside and I make an afternoon prediction, the same time of day, where do you think the sun is going to be? Let me get out of the shot so you guys can really see the mural. Go ahead and point right to the screen. Rosie and Lavender and I want to make some predictions too. So Lavender and I talked about it and she thought that the afternoon sun would be in the same spot as the morning sun because that's where we saw the sun twice already. So that's where she put her. Rosie, what was your prediction? Um, I think the sun is going to be in the same spot on the horizon, but a little higher because it was kind of a warm day that day. Oh, it was a warm day that day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you haven't met this person before. This is my son, Cole, and he went out at the same time in the afternoon to look at where the sun was in the sky. Do you guys think he's pointing very low, low, medium high, high, or very high? So I circled very high. I'm not sure what you guys think, but 
So I marked it and then we're going to draw the what we noticed about the horizon. So it was the spot with the two trees, right? And then I drew in the horizon and where we saw the sun. And then the time was the same time as last time. That's 1 p.m. And now we need to put it on the sun mural, right? Mm -hmm. Put the sun on the mural. So Rosie, I remember that we said it was very high, but what is the other thing that we need to do? Because I know it goes on very high. What, what else do we need to look at? Uh, maybe where it is in the horizon. I don't quite remember. Let's look back at the picture. Okay, let's look back. Ah, the two tall trees. Right here. Okay. So, very high. And the two tall trees. Okay. Here and then up here. Oh, right where my prediction is. Oh, Rosie. Okay. And... So I'm gonna remove my prediction. And can I remove yours too? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's look at this new data point. So now we have two data points. We have morning and afternoon. Does this help us answer the question, what will we see in the sky at the same time on a different day? What did we see in the sky at the same time on different days? We have one more prediction to make. So tonight, I'm gonna go back outside at the same time as I made my last evening prediction um, and I'm going to observe the sun. Where do you think, not where do you think, where do you predict, where do you predict the sun will be when I observe it this evening? And why do you think that? Go ahead and point to the screen. Make sure you tell me why you made that choice. Okay. Thanks for your help, Rosie. Bye. So how did we work as scientists today? Let's look at our table. How did we work as scientists today? Did we make observations? Yeah, we did. Did we read? No. Did we record? Yes, we recorded our data. Did we organize that data? Yeah, we did, because we put it on our sky mural. So that's the end of today's lesson. If you can today, I'd like you to try to make some of your own sky observations today. And if you can make them at the same time you made your last observations, that's even better. So if you have the notebook pages, you can make some observations in your, in your notebook pages, but if you don't, just a plain piece of paper works fine too. That's what I did and then you can add it to your own sky mural. Have a great time. Bye guys.